Hello friends. Hello friends. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you some basics of MySQL. Uh, some these are those basics uh, which all you should know when dealing with your database and tables. So, this is my SQL command, and it is prompting me to enter the password. So, the default password is. So after entering the password, my first uh, job is to know how many databases are there. So I will type so databases and finish with semicolon. So these are my default databases. So I need to create a new database in, in which I will enter my values so i will write create database and then the database name. here i will enter my database name the waiver and it will create my database so let's again check databases so my database is created now, after creating database or and uh, creating table or dealing with database, I need to use that database. So I will type in use the way you are my database name, and my database will be changed. Now, since everyone, uh, since it is a new database we all know there are no tables but let's suppose you are using a uh, old database so you should know if there is any table or not i will type in so tables and it will give me empty set because there is no table so i will create a table create table now table name let's suppose it is yes. and I will I will create column uh, my first column is ID uh, which is X type and I am in this it will take up to three integers and it will auto auto increment and I am making it primary key now the another column will be name which is in where care and it will take up to 20 characters and it should not be null and another I am taking H for simplicity I am taking only three columns A will be in int and it should be up to three digits and it could be I am keeping it so now I will close the parentheses and will enter is saying that my query is ok now let's see all the tables again I have one table which which name which whose name is nation uh, now let's see if there is any data in it select star from It is giving the empty set. It means there is no data in it. So to insert data, I will use insert query insert into table name. My table name is mission. and I will enter value. But since I am using auto increment, so I cannot give values directly like this. 
I will have to specify the columns here. So to specify column I will use brackets that is parenthesis. Uh, I need to enter values in name and age. So and age. Uh, you should remember that name is in bracket and age in end. So you have to use you have to enter according to that data types so any string value any character values will go in single or double quotes you can use any of them uh, and is 21 digits will not go in quotes so it should enter and the uh, ID should auto increment. My query is okay. Let's see. ID is auto increment incremented by one. Name is Varun and age is 21. So now I can I can insert the values again and again with my insert command. Uh, let's make it uh, and is Let's again check the data. ID is already incremented. So now let's work on update command. Update table. Set name Sunday where ID is two. It will set the name Sunday here. Where is okay? Let's check the data. It has set the name. So you can update any column like this. You can update multiple columns too. So now let's come on delete command. Delete from table name where uh, let's take uh, name. has deleted the volume data so now let's suppose I have to add new column so how to add that column I will use alter command alter, que alter query so alter table added the table uh, alter the table and added the column so let's check our table here it is so I can insert my password here you can delete the column also so drop alter
front gate durable it will empty my table now so let's select star from it has emptied my table now if i want to delete the table i will use drop comma drop table then table name now let's see how many tables are there so tables there are no tables in the way you are database so now finally i need to drop the database drop database so yeah. it has deleted my database so let's check database it has deleted my database so these are some basic which you all uh, all the newcomers should know about my sql and even the sql the same queries executed so thanks for watching my video please subscribe it and you can request new videos too. have a good day